Hello again from my front porch. Today is my birthday, my 56th birthday. And uh, I don't do many of these very often before I shower and clean up for the day, but today I really wanted to because I wanted to let you see this. See, see my, my, my stubble here? Yeah, yeah, see? Hey. That's because this whole last weekend I did not shave. I, I, uh, we were focused on getting Lisa all moved and, and everything did get moved out of the house she was in into a couple storage units and some stuff, uh, for, it seems like quite a bit of stuff at the moment, uh, came to my house. In fact, uh, I, it's kind of the boxes as, as stuff is being sorted through has sort of taken over my uh, dining room area and my kitchen and all of that. Um, uh, but you know we're sorting through it. It's 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 being taken care of. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of ironic that here I am, another year older today, and uh, I feel every inch of it <laughs> because of. I mean, seriously, Saturday we were moving, and it was at least an 18-hour straight-through work day. Uh, it, we didn't get to bed till what 3 a.m. Uh, and uh, oh man, my body. Yesterday, my body was really hating me. Today, my body is not hating me quite so much, but just still a little bit of resentment. <laughs> so I suppose at 56, I should feel really good that I am still able to have that level of physical activity and just a couple of days later be eh, doing much better about it. You may have also noticed that my companions are back. As you recall, I have McCoy and I have Mulder. McCoy, because on Star Trek, Dr. McCoy's nickname was Bones, and Mulder because, well, X-Files, come on. <laughs> so I have McCoy and Mulder here with me because we are officially in October as well, and so we're, we're up to, it's time for the Halloween decorations, uh, and so, you know, these guys are back. The, the, the pillows are still the basic front porch pillows, but they'll be changing to Halloween pillows as we move closer towards Halloween. Um, but these guys will now be the guardians of the front porch. They'll be out here the whole time uh, through the entire month of October, just watching over things and making sure, you know, you all are behaving yourself. Uh, <laughs> and uh, people have asked, now that uh, Lisa and Sophia are at least temporarily uh, staying here with me because they had to get out of their house, uh, does that mean that that massive Halloween display that Lisa used to do at her house, is, is it going to be in front of my house? Well, we've started talking about what we might do, uh, and I suspect that there probably will be something that gets set up. Whether it's the whole shooting match, who knows? We'll, we'll see. But for right now, today, I, I had to do an episode because it's my birthday, you know, and, and, and I wanted to show off the stubble. See? Because you know I don't, I, you don't see me like this very often. I don't let myself do it. And you know, part of the reason um, when when I when I grew a beard several years ago as part of a church production, I looked at myself in the mirror uh, and in photos with the full beard grown out, and I was like, I look like Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> I didn't really want to look like Kelsey Grammer, uh, and so so I you know got rid of it. Uh, but uh, now, now my reluctance to want to let something like that grow is because it looks very light colored. Hmm. <laughs> uh, but I do have to shave it off today because uh, uh, unfortunately a week or so ago uh, my cousin Tammy's husband John passed away and so the family has asked me to officiate his funeral which will be this morning in Perry, Iowa. And, um, you know, out of respectfully, I'm not going to go looking <laughs> like Mr. Stubble. Uh, and so, so, I'm, so that's why I said I was filming this before I showered and cleaned up, because as part of that process, we'll be getting rid of, you know, all this on my face. But I had to share it as part of the, the birthday message here. But anyway, so today is my birthday, and I had told people here locally, and I, I guess I post online too, that, that uh, the ha coming help me uh, with the moving of Lisa was going to be uh, I was going to consider my birthday present from other people. And uh, I was fortunate to have a lot of friends that showed up, uh, several, a uh, great number of folks in the Filipino group that showed up, uh, and some other personal friends that we know as well that were able to uh, 
come out and attend. Uh, I believe Lisa and I are going to be, I, I'm going to have Lisa and maybe her daughter Sophia on an episode uh, soon after some of the chaos of the unpacking and sorting settles down a bit. Uh, and we'll, they're going to do a more uh, official thank you message where we will name by name the people who uh, were there because both of us very grateful. Uh, it, it literally, I, without getting too deep into it, 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 it could not have been possible without all of the help that we had. Um, and I, I, I simply cannot say enough uh, to say thank you to everybody who was involved with that, especially on Saturday. Uh, people put in long hours, a lot of work, and man, were they good at what they did. But anyway, today is an unconventional birthday for Paul, and uh, I am going to celebrate it the way I celebrate pretty much every other day by just doing the best I can to be the best me I can during that day. I know that sounds cheesy, but ultimately when you think about it, that's all any of us can do. And so, from McCoy and Mulder and myself, Mr. 56, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna see you all next time from my front porch.